Hello there. My name is Narcissist. Pull up a chair, will you? Welcome to How to Use. This is episode two, and today we're covering what I would like to call beginning waters. Now, beginning waters are probably not what you think they are. Beginning waters are the popular waters. They're the first thing people would think when I say, think of a water type from generation maybe three. I'm willing to bet someone would think something like Milotic. Now, let's move on to our first slide. Our first Pokemon to cover today is Gyarados. Now, Gyarados is in the UU tier, in the singles category. And in doubles, it is DUU. Now, I really disagree with this. Uh, I agree with UU, but I disagree with DUU. I believe it to be untiered. I would prefer it to be untiered, because Gyarados, its doubles ability is Intimidate. It uses Intimidate, there's no reason to use Moxie. You're not gonna be picking up a lot of kills with this thing anyway. I mean, it has a nice attack stat, and with that Life Orb, it can deal a lot of damage. But the problem is it's just not bulky enough to be an Intimidator. And Moxie... It's just difficult to get kills off with this thing, so I personally believe it is not good in doubles. I don't recommend you use this thing. There are so many better Intimidators, like Incineroar, Landorus Therian, even Salamence is better in both the Intimidate and Moxie category. So, those are, that's the abilities, and with preferred items, Life Orb for singles, and doubles, and Choice Scarf for exclusively doubles. I do not recommend putting Choice Scarf on a singles Gyarados. Now, let's move on to our first moveset for our UU. That's the singles. So, Gyarados is nice because it has a lot of coverage options. I'm willing to bet that's the reason that it is UU. It also hits pretty hard, especially with... Dragon Dance set up. So our moveset is Earthquake or Iron Head. It really depends on what you want to hit. If you want to hit electric types that normally threaten you, I recommend Earthquake. But if you want to hit fairies harder, go for Iron Head. Waterfall or Aqua Tail. Aqua Tail gives you more power but less accuracy. Waterfall gives you more accuracy but a little less power. It also has that nice chance to flinch. Now, with the last coverage move, Power Whip or Crunch. Power Whip is excellent. I'm so glad it gets it because it covers other water types that it normally would not cover. And it covers those pesky water absorbers like Quagsire and Gastrodon, which are both go which were go which both of which we're going to cover. Sorry, that was a mistaken um, trip over my own words. So, and then our last coverage move is Bounce or Dragon Dance. Bounce, if you're running Scarf, I don't recommend you use that. Bounce is a bad move. The best thing you're going to get from it is a little bit of stall. Dragon Dance allows you to set up both your speed and attack stat. Let's see if hit like a truck. 252 attack, 252 speed, 4 special defense. You can also run defense or HP. Doesn't matter. I recommend special defense, though, because it allows you to take those special hits that you otherwise would not take all that well. It's just a little bit better. And then Jolly or Adamant. Jolly is just for speed. I recommend Adamant, though. Adamant allows you to hit harder. Uh, you're already going to be upping your speed to mon monstrous levels with Dragon Dance, so it really doesn't matter with Jolly. I recommend Adamant. And then for our VGC moveset, Waterfall, Aqua Tail, same thing. Aqua Tail, more power, less accuracy. Waterfall, less powerful, more accurate, has a little hot, has a flinch chance, which is why I like Waterfall. Iron Head, Earthquake, Power Whip, or Crunch. Iron Head hits fairies. I like that one the most. However, the main fairies you're going to be hitting is Tapu Fini right now. So Power Whip may do just a little bit better there. Bounce. So Gyarados is an excellent Dynamax target because Bounce turns into Max Airstream. It's Gyarados' only physical flying move. So that's the only physical airstream that it can get. So that can boost its speed. And then Protect, Earthquake, Power Whip, Crunch, I recommend Protect, Earthquake, or Crunch. Power Whip, I recommend instead of Iron Head. You can also run Iron Head in that fourth slot. Just any coverage you want there, doesn't really matter. 252 attack, 252 speed, 4 HP. 
250 yeah this is a very similar spread to our singles thing because we're we want to hit hard we want to get that we want to take those hits that we would otherwise not take all that well just a little bit better and thanks to its pairing with intimidate it's just really nice because that extra hp allows you to take hits from things like can't think of think can't think of any on the top of my head like uh landorus landorus's rock slide takes that well and with an airstream boost you won't even have to worry about that because i'm willing to bet waterfall hits incredibly hard let's actually check that calc so we're gonna go to picolytics damage calc so let's go to the damage calculator Let us check if Max Geyser from a Dynamax Gyarados kills a Lando, a Lando T, probably not vested under all circumstances. When it, actually, vest doesn't matter because it's physical waterfall. So we're going to Dynamax. And then you can also run Stone Edge for coverage. I didn't realize that. I forgot it had that. So non-Dynamaxed um, Lando has a, from full health, has a 75% chance to be O-Code by Max Geyser from Gyarados with Max Attack Investment. And then Lando T's Rock Slide. Actually, because of Intimidate, hold on. Let me go down and make it so it's minus one. It's because of Intimidate. Oh wait, we shouldn't put minus one. It automatically applies that because we have Intimidate. Because of Intimidate, Rock Slide will do 21%. Um, that is a possible five hit KO. I feel bad for this thing. Lando does no damage. So I guess that's a good use for Gyarados. Maybe DUU. I kind of changed my mind there after seeing that calc. That is really good. I like that. I might make a Gyarados team, but that's off That's off topic. That's how you use Gyarados. Moving on. Quagsire. Look at him. He's so goofy. I love Quagsire. But unfortunately, uh, competitive Pokemon does not. PU slash DNU. Now, when I say DNU... If DUU has a little parentheses about it, around it, that means it's untiered. Otherwise known as ZU in singles, you will see PU with a with parentheses around it, that means ZU. Which means untiered, which means trash. Now, PU in singles, that makes sense. Quagsire is a lot better in singles than it is doubles. Now, its preferred ability is unaware, but Water Absorb allows it to check big, big, quote-unquote, on check, Dracovish. Now, the problem with it being capable of checking Dracovish is it can't. Let me just, uh, let me just run this calc right here. Let's, ch let's check Quag, Quag, the Quag, versus a Dracovish. Dracovish has an excellent defense stat, which I, I love about it, but the problem with it Ice Punch. Max Hailstorm does 23.4% damage at the least to a Dracovish. With no defense and 4 HP. That means it has a 74.5% chance to 4 hit KO. Please don't mind that. That was just a message. I don't know if you can see that. So... Its preferred ability is unaware, allows it to tank, boost it hits really well. Preferred item, leftovers, residual recovery. You can also run, what does it say down here? Yeah, you only want to run leftovers. Toxic Protect Dive Earthquake. I choose Dive instead of Waterfall because it allows it to stall out a few more turns so you won't be hit for one turn. However, it's incredibly predictable. You can just protect. That's what makes it a better option. I prefer I prefer dive. You can go with waterfall. Toxic protect. Simple. 
stall. Earthquake is just covered. Doing 252 HP, 124 defense, 124 special defense, 8 attack. Relax, sassy, impish, careful. Get rid of the stats you don't need and up the stats you do. Defense and special defense. Relax and sassy, up defense and special defense for in exchange for special attack. And impish and careful, up defense and special defense in exchange for speed. D-U-U. Why would you use this? As I already discussed, it has a 75% chance to 4-hit KO a Dracovish. It doesn't even check it. It doesn't deal enough damage. And because of residual damage, I would say maybe a 3-hit KO if, it, if it's like on 80% because of the residual damage from Hail. So like maybe, it, maybe a little bit you could possibly 3-hit KO a Dracovish. So, uh, and then it's my uh, VGC moveset I made. This is not good. Don't use this. I, I don't even know if this moveset is good. I haven't tried it out. Dive or Waterfall, same reason for Dive, but it's slightly less, less useful. And it can easily be blocked by any of the Pokemon that carry Protect. Earthquake. Coverage. Ice Punch. Coverage. Dealing more damage to Dracovish. Actually... Oh, that's interesting. Max Quake will do more than Hail, Hailstorm to a Dracovish, so you don't even need an Ice Punch if you don't want it. You can run, like, a special ground move instead. If you want to run a special set, go ahead, and then Protect. Everything runs Protect. 200... Oh, I swear to God. 252 HP, 252 Attack, 4 Defense, with an Adamant Nature, Ups Attack, this is a bad move set. I just don't use Quagsire. Moving on, Milotic. Someone requested me to do Milotic. This is why I did this video. Milotic. Milotic's not good. NU slash uh, DNU, otherwise known as Untiered. Why are people messaging me? What are they doing? NU slash DNU, not good. Preferred abilities Marble Scale or Competitive. Marble Scale for singles, competitive. For singles or doubles, it, uh, I, I don't really recommend using this thing in either. Preferred items, leftovers, or wiki berry. Recovery. For singles, its moveset is... Why? Why? Money, water, coil, rest, and sleep talk. I really like this set. Um, Marvel Scale does, in fact, um, activate when you were sleeping. So your defense will be... Multiplied by 1.5 whilst you are sleeping with rest, and you get that recovery. And then muddy water and coil up your up your moves, and then muddy water and then muddy water for damage. You can also run Aqua Tail. That's something I didn't put on here. And you can run attack instead of special attack in the EV department. So you will deal more damage, I believe, if you do Aqua Tail because coil ups attack, not special attack. However, uh, Muddy Water does have that boost of lowering accuracy. That is nice, and it hits both opponents. Why am I saying that in singles? Anyway, run a modest or adamant nature. I don't really care. You can you can do whatever you want. I prefer I prefer modest. I I mean you could run adamant, but it's just it's, it's a lot worse. I mean it's not a lot worse. It deals more damage, but that the sacrifice of the attack stat is just not good. For this set, you're going to run Marvel Scale instead of Competitive. Now, for doubles, this thing is considerably better. Note, I say better, not worse. This thing is pretty good in doubles. I think it should be D-U-U, not D-N-U. Coil Hypnosis, Muddy Water, Slash Aqua Tail, and Recover. Muddy Water or Aqua Tail, same reason. Hypnosis. Almost always hits with two coils. Coil, obviously, to boost attack, defense, and accuracy, and recover for recovery. I put down here 252 special attack or attack, 200 HP, and 56 special defense or defense. Doesn't matter. This is a Chinese spread. Well, not Chinese, truly, but if you know what that means, congrats on watching um, Poke Game for 20 seconds. Modest or adamant nature, same reason as singles. Our fourth and second to last Pokemon is Gastrodon. I really stretch that image. Them some stretchy boyos slash girlos. I don't discriminate. Tearing slash preferred ability slash preferred item with a S around the parenthesis or parentheses around the S because this thing runs some Pokemon on my 
how to use lists will only run one item and one item only. For tearing N U or D U U, I believe this thing to be D P U, like real bad. And then N U is self explanatory. Preferred abilities Storm Drain. This thing is simultaneously a check and not a check to Dracovish. Dracovish. This thing's entire, um, entire goofy gimmick went away in two seconds when the Crown Tundra. Uh, when the Crown Thunder came in and when Series 7 started. Because Dracovish went from, like, I think it was 20% usage to uh, rounded down 5% usage. I think it was 6, actually, but you get what I mean. And then the preferred item, Rindo Berry, decreases damage from grass. That's the only thing this thing is weak to. And then leftovers for um, uh, recovery. You're going to want to run leftovers or Rindo Berry in singles and Rindo Berry in doubles. Muddy Water slash Hydro Pump, Earth Power, Ice Beam slash Icy Wind slash Toxic. Toxic is better. I prefer Ice Beam, though. Toxic is for chipping. Ice Beam is for damage. It really doesn't matter. And then Recover for Recovery, obviously. You will not need leftovers if you're running Recover because it, this thing is incredibly bulky. 252 HP, 252 Defense. 252 Defense is, for, is because... Uh, does it have a superior special defense? I don't really know, but I'm pretty sure it does, and it's not like it's it's not like it's uh gonna take that much damage anyway. And then four special attack it makes sense. It does more damage with the uh, hits. And then modest calm bold modest for damage calm and bold for more bulk. Doubles muddy water or hydro pump. Hydro pump for less accuracy, more power. Muddy water for less power, more accuracy, and coverage, and, uh, accuracy drop. I prefer Muddy Water. You can run Hydro Pump all you want. Hold on, let me check something. Okay, I'm on time. Recover or protect. Self-explanatory. 252 HP, 156 special attack. These are for taking hits and dealing a little more damage. 100 defense or special defense. Note I say or. It really does not matter just doesn't. It really doesn't. And then Modest Commer Bold, same exact reason. You can have more damage, or you can have more longevity. It's up to you. Jellicent, last Pokemon of the day. Uh, our, this is our Gen 5, Beginning Water. Gastrodon was our Gen 4, Final Water Gen 3, Quagsire Gen 2, and Gyarados Gen 1. Jellicent was one of the best waters. In Gen 7, look at this tearing. Can you tell how trash it's become? Or not Gen 7, Gen 5. Gen 5. And we're on, hold on. Let me just stop, let me just stop. We're on Gen 8. So this thing was good when no other waters existed besides, you know, Keldeo. And this thing actually pretty hard walled Keldeo. That was good. It doesn't anymore because Keldeo is like way above it. Why why would you why would you use this when there are so many other checks to Keldeo? Preferred abilities, water absorb, cursed body. I prefer cursed body in both categories. Water absorb works too. Prefer items, eh, leftovers. Water absorb, nice for checking Dracovish. Said someone playing G series six. Move set, MPU, recover or strength sap. Either one's good. Allows you to completely cripple all physical attackers. Toxic. Chip. Scald or Will O Wisp. Either one ha both have the same exact objective. Burn. Scald does damage though. Uh calm slash bold nature. Take more hits. Shadow Ball, Scald, Recover or Strength Sap and Will O Wisp for doubles. Strength Sap and Will O Wisp are for the exact same reason. Cripple all physical attackers. Scald and Shadow Ball though are for damage. And you can see we're running 56 special attack for a little more damage. 200 special defense to take those hits and 252 HP to take those hits. Calm bold, more bold. And um, so in summary and in conclusion, most water types, quote, beginning water types are trash, like big trash. Four out of five of the Pokemon we've talked about today are so garbage, I cannot even comprehend how bad they are. I mean, they can be used. I never said they were good. They're, they can be used. 
They're just, uh, most of them have gone from pretty good Pokemon in the past to Garbo. The only Pokemon I could really say has really not done that is Gyarados. Gyarados has remained good for eight generations now, since it came out in Gen 1. So, kudos to you, Gyarados. Not so kudos to you, Quagsire, or Milotic, or Gastrodon, or Jellicent. You suck. Goodbye. That was How to Use with Narcissist. Thank you for watching. If you want to see a specific set of Pokemon for next for the next episode of How to Use, go ahead and like the video and then subscribe and then comment. You must you must do it in that order or I will not listen to you. I'm kidding. I actually have no way of telling if you did that in that order. Anyway, bye.